Building downtown. Building downtown. Building downtown. Yeah, uh, so basically I was born, you know, in um, San, uh, South San Francisco or, or San Francisco uh, City. Uh, I moved to Union City, California when I was about like three, which is in the East Bay. It's like a, you know, you're cool all American town, but it still has like, you know, it's little up, you know, it's little bumps in the road, you know, a lot of there's like a big like there's big like, you know, just gangs there, too. Um back in the day it isn't it is, it's not really too much now you know like everyone's just trying to make money nowadays you know mm. but uh i was born in new city uh you know big on hoop uh my father was strict he you know he he's the type that you know he didn't let me listen to rap you know but he couldn't stop it um you know uh stomped on all my rap tapes and you know i <laughs> would because i i got into a lot of trouble as a kid I, my first love is graffiti so um you know, I got into a little scuffle with the cops already at like sixth grade, you know? Mm -hmm. And then, so from there, like, you know, I'm still, you know, writing, writing. I'm listening to rap, of course. And then uh, I guess like I started, you know, meeting some new people that, that were, you know, like writing raps and stuff like that, that were, you know, like also doing graffiti. So I, I met like the dude that inspired me. His name is Drake. It's, it's hilarious. His name is Drake. <laughs> but, uh, he he had the deepest voice. He was like, he raps like this and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like Saphir, <laughs> like you know, like old Saphir, you know? He sounded like that. And then um he pretty much showed me I was trash because you know, I don't know, you know, it was, it's just like I had rhythm, but I just was trash. Like I was I did the, I, I was in the choir. That was about like the whole musical musicality thing. I grew up. Oh, but you can class. like sing sing though. I right? was gonna say about the same thing. Yeah. So, sing is coming from somewhere, so that explains it. Yeah, yeah. I, I I was in the choir, but before that, I was already singing and shit because of like Boys to Men was like my favorite shit, and then like so I like all the R and B stuff too, as well as the hip hop. Just the whole like, just the whole like culture. You know what I mean? It's dope. You know, it was dope to me. It was new because I grew up off of classic rock. My dad would play a lot of Led Zeppelin, a lot of Beatles, a lot of you know Pink Floyd, The Who, Doors, everybody. Uh, you know, and and that's that was dope. That's still dope to me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So like. When I joined the choir, you know, I kind of let loose a little bit. I mean, you know, when you're in a school choir, it was only one year and it was like sixth grade as well. Or like fourth and I mean, fifth and sixth grade. And then it's like, I remember I did like a solo and shit. It was hilarious. Like a whole new world. <laughs> <laughs> I was like wow. fucking Aladdin and shit. But uh, <laughs> it was hilarious. Uh, and then so I wrote my first rap to uh, Today Was a Good Day. And that was also in sixth grade. I was experimenting a lot with music. But uh I stopped. I mean, I didn't really take it seriously, you know, and not until eighth grade, freshman year, and then sophomore year was like, all right, I'm going to start rapping now because now I'm getting good and I'm freestyling in the high school. You know, you're battling people and shit. And I was heavy into that. You know, that was like the mid 90s. And I was like battling all kinds of people in school, other people in school, rival schools. You know, it would be like I got that. A, I got a quick question for you here. It's talking about the choir. I know you're laughing about it all now, but how much do you think that helps you make uh, music? Like tons, man. Tons. You know, right? like that's the first like structured form of music that I ever came across, like reading music. And like, you know, the reason uh, I'm asking is because I, I took a few singing lessons, not too many, maybe about 10, 15. And I already feel the difference because I understand it, yeah, my, my voice so much better. Right. Yeah, it definitely helps, man. Like, uh, I feel like, man, I honestly thought I was better when I was younger, though, like as a singer, like I could have I could have went either way. I could have just went singing and not rap. But like rapping was just too fun, you know, and it was just like it absorbed me more. You know what I mean? So now that I'm getting older, I'm tapping in the back back to that you know to that form of you know but i'm trying to make it more current like i got some stuff coming out guys oh god I whoa, wish you guys whoa, wait it. before we get to coming out didn't did you or did you not do an r&b album like three three years ago um no i didn't do an album i did uh one single oh single i, I did there was an album yeah there. oh no no the hope floats you talking about hope floats hope floats was like kind of, that was like the whole like vibey like i'll sing the hook i'm singing like bridges but I'm still rapping, you know what I mean? But yeah, I could see how you would, that that would, uh, you know, um, sound like, you know, some like R&B or some shit like that, or some new, like some new form of like new, new wave soul shit, you know? But it was more of a, like a rap. That's my favorite album. I was just talking to my homie. He just left. And I was like, <laughs> yo, the Hope Floats is like my favorite album, like, like that I did besides Fresh Air, of course. 
But I think, you know, whole flows was just like, yo, that was just like a new side of me that came out, you know, and it was, it was easy to record. And it was like, I wasn't focused so much on like barring out heavy, just making good music. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I do have uh, a singing song out now. It's called Foul. And it's under Late Night on, on iTunes, but it's still under Fredo Algebra everywhere else, which is kind of weird. But um, yeah, I that was like my first singing songs like to ever like come out. But then now I got some shit that, yeah, it's it's, it's pretty, I, it's like five songs, but it's going to be pretty fucking, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm going to put it in between the, the B albums, you know? So back to where you were, mid 90s. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Um, no, no, it's OK. It's OK. Krill jumped in with a question. Amy jumped in with yeah. a question. But no, no, mid-90s, no, yeah, yeah. I'm stuck on that. That's, that's Yeah, mid-90s. Mid I, I was in high school then. I That's uh, yeah. yeah I, I, that's my favorite era of hip hop. You're talking about yeah. fucking battling in cafeterias or whatever the fuck. Yeah. I want to hear more of this. Yeah. So like uh, so I was in a crew. Um, well, I made my own crew called PhD Projects Highly Diverse. Well, that's a <laughs> that was, name. That, yeah, that was, that was a pretty <laughs> sharp name until Mace made it player hating degree. And then it was like all bad after that. You know what I mean? <laughs> but that was before that. And then uh, I had a yeah. And then I had a you know, it, it was like me and a group of dudes I grew up with. And then um, another group of dudes I grew up with, we were like the, a big crew. Like, OK, if you want to go to the fools from our school then it's all us. And we're called IC fam. It was like ill creators or some shit like that, like super <laughs> hip hop, you know? And then we, there was this other group from across the the way, like in, a, in another school and they were called uh, Decepticons. They were trying to be Decepticons, like how PH and them, <laughs> like the original Decepticons, like, nah, we don't play that. That's like fake shit. That's why we didn't like them, you know? And then they were called like urban icons too. Like that was like their super crew. They were called like urban icons or some shit like that. And I'm like, you guys is fucking trad. We would battle everywhere. Birthday parties. You know what I mean? And also, I don't know if you guys, are you guys familiar with like b-boying and shit? It's like, like breakdancing and shit oh, yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. So my cousin, um, Wiz Kid, he, um, he's like my, my, like, he's like my second cousin or some shit like that. But he's like my close cousin. And uh, he's the founder of Rock Force Crew. And um, so the Rock Force crew, or the first generation before Paulski, because Paulski ran, ran the uh, Generation 2, and that was the one that won Battle of the Year, and my partner Maya was in, a whole bunch of my homies were in that crew. But the original, which was in the early 80s, Rock Force was from Union City, where I'm from. And a lot of people don't know, like, my area has hella, breeds hella talent that just, no one just, no one, you know, like, no one knows about because it's just a small town, and it's like, you know I, there's a lot of artists but like i was one of the original artists to come from the town like you know what i mean but mm-hmm. it's nothing to be proud of but of course i'm proud because that's where i'm from you know but rock force came from there so as a kid i would grow up going and i'm looking you know i'm listening to the music already you know and not rapping but i'm, I'm just like yo I'm immersed in hip-hop ever since a kid you know so like fast forward to like the you know when i get a little older i'm just like doing my own type of shit now like okay i would record like early 90s and then i grew uh, when i graduated high school that senior year i i I joined the navy and i lost i I had to lose like 60 pounds or some shit and i lost Mm -hmm. i ended up losing like 90 pounds to get to the navy but then yeah before that I, i was recording albums like handwritten albums on my tape recorder I had a tape recorder, then I had the CDs with the beats, then I had my, the tape, you know, the tape that I would uh, I've done tape that it on, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah we do fucking one take songs. Oh, you messed up the last bar. You fucking do the whole song again. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, we, I have a tape on video. I'm, I have a tape. I found it in the storage. I found all my rhyme books from high school, but but I have a tape. We used to do songs like that. Like, we didn't have a studio. You know? I didn't know how to get to a studio. Building downtown, building downtown, building downtown, building downtown.